if you have a child with dyslexia, it's, it's, it's really learning what is their superpower. Every child has a superpower. If you're dyslexic, it's kind of your superpower. It's like the way that you think. So then you just need to be given tools and opportunities and learning, like, like passion-based learning, you know? And if education is a challenge for a child with dyslexia, you need to understand how to educate them so that it isn't a challenge, so that it's fun. Because it's not that they're stupid, it's not that they're not capable. They just need to learn how to be, how to enjoy the process of learning. If kids are enjoying education, then they're enjoying learning in life. Then they're going to be a happier human if they have that creative part of themselves engaged and ignited. I'm so lucky because I always knew I wanted to be an actor and I get to do this for a living. It's amazing, you know. I, it was always what I wanted to do since I was a kid. It was a lot of, it was a lot of extra time and work to, to, to get onto the stage, but it was, when I was there and focused on stage, there was nothing like it, you know. School was um, a challenge. It wasn't easy. It required uh, extra classes, extra time. One of my early school reports said something along the lines of if Orlando wasn't, you know, looking out the window daydreaming or in, 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 at the, uh, in at the hamster cage, he'd be a very valuable member of the class in some form or another. But, and I, I think that, you know, it wasn't really known about dyslexia particularly. When I was at school, people didn't talk about it. I had to learn as I was growing up to spell my timetables, the times tables like history dates, by rote, everything was like by rote, by rote, by rote. Did I retain any of that information? I don't think so. Where I got real education, I feel like, was at drama school when I started looking at like the metaphysical poets and like Milton and John Donne. And it was like, it just expl exploded my imagination. My imagination, which I think is the gift of dyslexia, is what's also given me different kinds of insights into character, into the way that I live my life as well. I mean, it's been a great gift. I mean, I, I think I, I can sort of look at any thing and think through it in a way that I don't necessarily, as I'm growing older and seeing other people do things, I'm realizing I don't think people do think the way I think. <laughs> Sometimes I think when you are um, labeled which is sort of what I felt like happened to me as a child. I, was, I felt labeled by dyslexia, and I didn't like that. I didn't like that feeling. However, that feeling is part of what kicked me to work harder and try to overcome. Imagine a world where you've got, you know, a little, where you've got like a force of people who have this gift of dyslexia educated in a way that supports them. I mean, problem solving things in the world. I mean, I know that like the way that I think about things is, is not the most direct route, but I, I also know that it's, um, that it's, it, it, it means anything's possible. You know, it means anything is possible. And that's the sort of thinking that leaders have. That's the sort of thinking that evolves humanity. That's the sort of thinking that, you know, allows freedom, you know, of expression and the potential for anything, anything.